If I could snap my fingers and change one thing about our current culture of sex, what would it be? Liberating sex from its white supremacist, cishet normative oppressors, decriminalize sex work, and in doing so, doing it in a fundamental way where all workers have protections, you know, all people are able to um, have safe and transparent relationships in a sexual economy if so if they so wish. Maybe I'll take three snaps. <laughs> I would snap my finger and every mind would be erased of binary thinking. Binary thinking would not exist on this earth in any kind of way. Um, I think if we could get rid of that binary, which says it's either this or that, that or this, him or her, male or female, right? There's, there's so much limitation in that space of binariness. I think I would make the history of rape culture <laughs> have never existed. The roots of rape culture just infect so much of our world in so many ways. I think fear and shame, just getting rid of fear and shame. <laughs> if I could snap my fingers and change one thing about our current culture of sex, I would remove violence. I think it's possible to create a world without sexual abuse. I think that it means having a, a, an analysis and programs like the HEAL Project of understanding um, sexual abuse and sexuality and all of their complexities not just off as their own world, which they're not, but interconnected deeply with power, uh, with gender, with privilege, with all of that. So I think the way forward to, to eliminating sexual abuse is to understand what it really is, right? To be able to fully describe it as far as the drivers and the prohibitors of change and to understand that a carceral approach is taking us further away or sort of deeper into the problem. The carceral approach is part of childhood sexual abuse. Do my own healing work, how to become a healthier person in relationship um, and, and, to, and to do that work with my family and to do it in a way that's looking at white supremacy and um, queer liberation and sexual health. And ancestral healing, honestly, has been a lot of it, is having to look back at my learning about my, my family and, my, and their past and, um, and doing some healing work for them. I do believe that there is gonna come a time when violence is gone because the people, there are people, there are ideas bigger than the world. There are people bigger than their skin doing the work creating the language that does not exist. I've just never seen anyone else um, really attend to the fact that after you survive sexual harm, that you're still a sexual being um, of some sort, even in the absence of desire. Um, and you have to navigate what that feels like now in your body. Shit no one wants to talk about, but I was always thinking about, um, you know, the conversations like no one was really having allowed before. You just always dove deeply into it so fully and with so much grace and humor and humanity um, and just the ways that um, the Hill Project breathes open these um, safe and comfortable and um, destigmatized spaces for people to talk about like their deepest, darkest desires or thoughts that they felt ashamed about. And, um, helping people release a lot of that shame.